Hey snowflakes, so I'm gonna try and uh, not try, I'm gonna go through this uh, old OMC and uh, fix up whatever we can. Just try not to put any real money into it, I don't think we will. And uh, get it back on the snow for the winter. Kind of like the way it is. Um, but there are a few things that need to be addressed, so let's check it out. thing we gotta take care of is this steering it's it's, where you, it's not uh, not welded very well here and, and uh, the handlebars are broke and and uh, you know anyhow Gene has uh, replacement uh, handlebars we can put on there the exhaust looks very good with the exception that the bracket here is broken as you can see it broke there and then it broke it's broken in here as well so I'll take that off and uh, make a couple pieces and weld them on there uh, wiring needs a little bit of attention um, looks like the original the original plug that went in here on the dash is gone the toolbox is actually in one piece it's cracked here and here but I can stitch that back together and fix that up so I think we'll uh, we'll keep that missing recoil so I'll have to maybe track down one of those I'm not gonna get a new seat cover what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it apart and uh, kind of try and stitch it back together uh, new gaskets and seals this old Tilly still works nice and smooth but I'll pull that apart and clean it up this windshield of course has been uh, <laughs> cleverly repaired or made taller, I'm not sure which, but I feel like I'd like to leave that the way it is, but it's broken on the top, so maybe I can get a new piece and just put it on there. Check out the track and the springs there, I don't see any that are broken, so it's probably, probably good to go that way. The hood had been repaired here, it's fiberglass there, but uh, actually not a bad job vents are in very nice shape, as are the headlights, so she's got the one lame ski here from the old ski, but we'll just leave that. Alright, let's get to work. The Arctic Cat El Tigre 6000, the fastest production snowmobile in the world. This magnificent amalgam of engineering excellence is an uncompromising example of the legend which is Arctic Cat. When you buy the cat, nobody asks why. Well, there we go. I uh, took it over to my buddies and uh, he had a nice uh, hot, hot water pressure washer near his house so he was kind enough to let me uh, clean this thing out and it came out pretty good. Well you can see here that the neck for the, the fuel line bung is uh, broken off here. Okay now uh, here's the hot stapler and you see how it works. You buy these little clips and put them in the electrodes and you bring them over 
Now I've put a couple in here just to hold the neck in place. Weld that back together. And then probably put a couple more of the staples in there. Okay, you can see here I've uh, put the staples in and I had gone around and with the, the knife, the hot knife, and grooved out where the crack was and then went around and filled it with uh, polyethylene. Alright, well there it is. It's all repaired. Welded up, stapled. That is, uh, that's not coming off and it's not leaking. Alright, you can see on the left here, these are the uh, replacement handlebars. They're actually really nice. All I had to do was uh, unseize this here, but uh, that's all good now. Uh, you can see the old ones, they really took a beating. And uh, old Glenn Campbell, he fixed her up as best he could. And uh, But I think since we have these new handlebars, we'll put them on. Mr. Uh, Campbell had uh, whipped up a snow flap here for the back of the machine and uh, this uh, kind of a hole hitch. But, uh, I think we're going to make a new one. It's maybe a little bit nicer than this. Well, this is the, uh, the support tube that goes over the mower. You can see it's fairly bent so the real trick here is when we try to straighten it out without it cracking which I doubt is gonna happen but we'll see all right well I pulled the seat cover off and I cleaned it up it was pretty oily so I'm going to attempt to do a uh, hobo repair here on the back just so uh, the foam doesn't get all full of water and stuff uh, when we ride it because it's actually not bad the vinyl's in pretty good shape still uh, it's not hard and brittle because it hadn't been kept outside so let's see how it goes <clears throat> well I repaired the seat it's uh, not as good as new but I mean it was tore up pretty bad but I stitched the uh, I stitched it back together from the inside using some uh, uh, monofilament thread. And that stuff's pretty strong. I don't know how well this is going to hold up, but we'll see. For now, I should get through the winter. And then I, uh, I had one spot here that I didn't want to sew up because I thought it would just really tear quickly again. So I used a uh, an iron-on patch for some blue jeans. Okay, uh, I got this toolbox off, and it's not in the best shape. It's cracked up and stuff and a few holes in it but I think I'm gonna just try to stitch it back together with the plastic stapler use a little bit of heat here and there and uh, see how it turns out I mean it's not gonna really cost me anything so uh, you can see uh, I've stitched some of it together here and uh, now I'll clip the legs and then go over it with the pot knife to really seal them in there good and then uh, see what happens after that. Harley Davidson, a machine with a heritage of outperformance and an out in front style that's all its own. A new machine, low, sleek, a machine so right only Harley Davidson could make it. Every critical component of this snowmobile is designed and built by Harley-Davidson, specifically engineered for integrated total performance. Here it is. Pretty much uh, finished. As you can see, uh, no attempt to restore this machine, just 
make it mechanically sound, make everything work, and get it back on the snow, which <clears throat> to me is the most fun. Uh, I don't, I don't think every sled needs to be restored. Uh, putting them back on the snow uh, for not a lot of dough is kind of the most fun for me. So we'll kind of go through everything here and uh, show you what's what. So. First off, uh, I guess most noticeably is the is the ski here uh, was off a of skidoo, and I think it's actually kind of gives it a little bit of character. We'll just leave that on there. There's nothing wrong with what's there. I mean, it's been repaired once, but so what? And you can also see the hood here had been repaired at one time, and uh, hit with a little bit of spray paint. Um, along with all the Skidoo stickers and that big old STP sticker, I think it looks awesome. Uh, the windshield, uh, I just cut down the old windshield and put some trim on it because it's not faded white. That is actually some sort of translucent material. I don't know what it is, still looks cool, still serviceable. Uh, the vents are all, they were still pretty good. Uh, moving back here. Uh, the toolbox. Uh, did fix up the toolbox. I hot stapled everything back together. Uh, the holes where I mounted to the tunnel were really slopped out. So I uh, made, I took some nuts and welded them to some washers and then welded them to the tunnel and then set them on some gasket material here on the inside and the outside and uh, it seems to be pretty good. Uh, all, I think what I'm going to do yet because the latch is broken I'll just put a couple of o-rings on either side so you can just flip them off and open it up. Um, the seat, the material was still pretty nice, really soft but it was torn badly on the back so I flipped it inside out and my wife had some uh, monofilament thread, which uh, is essentially is just fishing line. And, uh, well, it seems like to me anyway. So I stitched it up as best I could and I flipped it back inside out and actually it worked really well. I mean, that stuff really holds. And uh, seat looks not too bad, you can still use it. Uh, recoil, got it from another buddy. We're doing a little tradesies. So he gave me a recoil, which I think is off a twin. It's a little bit shorter than the one that was on here, that would have been on here. So also needed a, sh a shorter starter cup inside, but it works well. Handle was one I had kicking around here. <clears throat> Pardon me. I bought it for something else and then didn't end up using it. So this is a good place for it. The, the whole bar here was bent. Folded. It was folded right back, so you couldn't set the hood on. As well as the handlebars, they had been uh, repaired a little bit, uh, not too well. So um, I got those from a neighbor. Um, they were in his boneyard. They're probably the nicest thing on this sled. <laughs> Carburetor was really nice and clean. Um, I did take it apart and clean everything out. And really well. Uh, we're missing a screen here for the, uh, the intake, so I just cut one out of some uh, stainless screen I had seen here. That, that's fine. Uh, this grommet that goes around here for the, uh, the fuel filler, the spigot, uh, it had shrunk up so bad that you could not put the hood on. So what I did was I heated it up with uh, a heat gun and I fit it into the hole, and then I took this, uh, actually the other end that's got the rubber on it, and I set it in there and I let it cool, and that way it gives it a little bit of clearance, and now it's, it's good. Slides on there really nice. The exhaust was pretty good. Um, this piece here is broken right off, and I decided not to replace that, because I have one on the same exhaust in my other machine, and although it's been repaired, it shakes so bad it cracked and broke again. So what I did was I used a longer stud here and put a rubber 
mount off of a junk snow jet and put that through there. And it gives it a little bit of give. And then I sealed it up here and put a clamp on it. And uh, I think that's going to hold up really well. The electrical was kind of a mess. So I got a key and a switch off of a, a reveler. And also the connector here that uh, disconnects the hood. And then uh, fixed up the wiring here. Um, the steering with the arms were all bent, so I straightened those out. The gas tank. The gas tank needed the, the whole bung here was broken right off. So I hot stapled it and then welded it back together. Got some new straps. I didn't go as far as pulling out the track and uh, the drivers. I, and usually I will, but this machine had been inside for so long. I'm gonna kinda just roll the dice here. I mean, we don't drive these machines that far, so if a bearing piles up, we'll, we'll, we'll drop it and pull it out. The last thing here, and I haven't told him, but, I made this snow flap and I'm gonna give this sled to Gravy. Uh, I feel like he drives way too many skidoos. And uh, you know, it being fitting it being fitting that this machine has a skidoo ski on it and a pile of skidoo stickers on the hood, so I hope he's happy with it. I'd be happy to give it to him. He did come on the trip. Gene's getting nothing. He skipped the trip. Uh, wasting time with his family, so. to live by <laughs> oh boy all right let's get out of here